Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Jake. I'm a system administrator at an MSP, a managed service provider, and I take I try and take a lot of tickets every day. And so today we're going to discuss the tickets that I took yesterday. Today I'm just going to mix it and do it all in order of assists and then actually working my tickets. I'm making this video because when I was getting into IT, I would love to see videos like this, like what is someone actually doing in a day in the life. So to start off my day, I created a small KB from something that I had learned from a vendor the night before, put it on our sites so that the next time a tech sees this issue, they can solve it easily, they just look at my KB. After this, I had a link down ticket, which is when one ISP connection goes down on the edge of someone's network at the SD WAN device. And so I troubleshot that. I actually went and checked and it was up by the time I looked at it, so I just closed the ticket. After this, I had to reach out to an account team because we're looking to make some changes in GPO that automates the backing up of desktops to Microsoft OneDrive, but I think there's gonna be some things that'll muck with how the desktop actually works, and we're concerned about functionality for the users. So, working with them, had a discussion with them, it was nice. After this, somebody reached out and needed help with mailbox delegation because they don't have permissions to do that at tier one, so I got to do that, it's really easy. Just go in, add, read, and manage for whoever needs it. After this, I had another ticket of mine, which was an FTPS certificate that's gonna be changing. The vendor had sent out this email that their cert is changing, there's a new thumbprint for the cert, and so I'm looking into if there's actually anything we need to change. I think everything's just going to be automatic, and we might just have to accept the new cert. However, I wonder if there's some cert pinning or anything of that sort that needs to be done ahead of time. Fortunately, I have a couple days. I plan to look into this more later, talk with some people internally, see if they know, and then go forward with that. But it was a nice little learning ticket. After this, I had a user reach out to a Tier 1 who needed permissions again in order to grant admin consent to an app in Entra and I granted the consent because it was a really innocuous app and everything looked good. Just sent that really quickly. It's pretty easy. After this, we had an interesting one where this company puts logon hours so people can only log in if authenticate against the DC in certain hours and we wanted to exclude someone from logon hours. It's really easy. You just go into AD and change the hours that they have, but we were wondering, is this set by GPO? Is there something that's pushing out these logon hours and is this going to change? So we looked through GPO, couldn't find anything that suggested that it was gonna be reset, so we just changed all of his logon hours to he can log in whenever he wants, and I'm just waiting on the T1 to confirm that everything looks good. After this, back to the KB that I had made in the morning, I called an internal contact who was having some issues. I looped in the vendor, and we all got on a group call together. The vendor was moving files around like crazy. I didn't really wanna learn, because it's just, it's a company-specific software and it's not something that's actually gonna help me in my IT journey, so I just let the vendor do her thing. She was awesome. I hung out in the background for 40 minutes. She fixed everything, and at the end of it, I just edited my KB and said, hey, if you have this, call the vendor. She's gonna move some files around and it's gonna work. And then if you have this other error, do what I had said yesterday. My next ticket, I had an SSL cert that needed renewing. This is basically a cert for companies that host websites or to put it in layman's terms, you need an SSL cert for things to work correctly with your domain if it's external facing. Even if it's internal, you want to have that little lock at the top of the screen. And so I had to renew this cert. There was a little confusion initially about do I actually have to renew this or is it just good to go? It looked like it was auto renewing. I reached out to the vendor. They confirmed you do still have to renew it. So I had to create something called a CSR, a certificate signing request, on my local computer, on MMC. I was working with the internal contact to actually validate the domain because you can use email to validate that, hey, we actually own this domain. And then once I get that cert, off of the internal contact, I can export it from my PC with the private key and we can put it wherever it needs to be. Basically my entire afternoon was consumed by discussions about a ticket that I had mentioned in my last video, which was a VPN over in India. We were looking over DNS settings, looking over basically all network settings, looking over how we resolve DNS, and looking at are, is the, are these guys being geo-blocked for some of our tools. We have no idea what's going on. We're working with various different teams, the network team, the data center team, the security team, myself, a colleague of mine, another colleague of mine, meetings, speaking with internal. It was quite technical discussions. It was interesting. It's also frustrating because this ticket will not go away and we cannot figure out why these people's VPN is not working. We'll get there, but we're not there yet. But so that pretty much consumed almost my entire afternoon. And then at the very end of the day, I had someone reach out needing a VPN URL, basically where can they go to get to the VPN appliance where they can log in and download the VPN and we tracked it down and uh, it was a little witch hunt but we found it, we compared it to some old tickets, we found it and uh, yeah everything was good to go there. People ask me from time to time what hours I work, 
The nice thing about my job is that as long as I'm doing work, I can work the hours that I want to. I choose to work early, so I start at about 6 a.m. every day. Usually I'm done by around like 3 p.m. I might have some people reach out. If I have easy assists, I will definitely help people with them because I get paid more money the more I work. So I have that liberty to work when I want. As long as I'm doing my job, I'm pretty conscientious, so I'm always doing a lot of work. I get to see a lot of interesting stuff, and this actually was a really relatively slow day, mostly because the afternoon was just completely filled with that VPN ticket, and the SSL cert took about an hour and a half as well. So normally I'm touching more tickets. I think today we had 14 or 15. Some days I'll have 30. I've even had, I think, 38 or 39 tickets touched in a day, which is a lot. It's a grind. But I really like my job. I love being a dad man. I love the things that I get to learn, I love the things that I get to teach, and honestly, there are some things that stay consistent. I always see lick down tickets, I always see drive space tickets, I always am helping with mailbox delegation, but there is new stuff every single day too, and so I'm constantly learning. I try and take as many network tickets, as many cloud tickets as I possibly can, because I want to learn more about that. Constantly working on getting my next certs, which at the time I have A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, CCNA, and AZ-104, the Azure Administrator Associate. So now I'm going to work on AZ-700, which is Azure Network Engineer, because again, I just want to get super good at networking, and I'm scared of the CCNP. I don't really want to take the CCNP, yet, at least. So we'll see how that takes me. I'm going to keep making these videos maybe a couple times a week. Maybe I'll do it once a week, but I'll keep you guys up to speed. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks so much. Have a good day.